In today's video we'll be taking a look at Old Oak Common, the new super hub being constructed as part of HS2 in West London. The new station will be approximately 5 miles to the west of Euston and will provide connections between HS2, the Elizabeth Line and Great Western Main Line. There will be 6 platforms for HS2 trains located 20 metres below ground in a huge 850 metre long concrete box, whilst on the surface there will be a new station on the Great Western Main Line with 8 platforms. That will allow passengers to transfer from HS2 services onto Elizabeth Line services heading towards central London and towards Heathrow, in addition to GWR services heading to Reading and the South West. Great Western Main Line Station will be located to the east of Acton Main Line Station, however unlike Acton Main Line, which is only served by Elizabeth Line services, it is likely that Old Oak Common will be served by Elizabeth Line and GWR services, including intercity services. Therefore, it could be possible for passengers to transfer from HS2 trains onto GWR services heading to Swindon, Bristol and Cardiff, and vice versa. The biggest gains from the new station however are for those wishing to travel to Heathrow and central London, with substantial time savings possible. For example Manchester Piccadilly to Heathrow currently takes around 3 hours 10 minutes, but once HS2 Phase 2B is completed the same journey via HS2 and the Elizabeth Line will take just 1 hour 42 minutes. Many journeys into central and east London will also be much quicker with the journey from Liverpool Lime Street to Canary Wharf for example taking just over 2 hours, compared to the journey time at the moment of almost 3 hours. I know HS2 is primarily about capacity and not speed, but I also believe that some of the journey time reductions provided by HS2 and Old Oak Common could be transformational for many passengers. Moving on to the construction of the station, at the moment there isn't a huge amount to see as the station is being constructed in a box below the surface. That's not to say there's no visible sign of works however, as the enormous site is a hive of activity with plenty of cranes at work across the site. One major piece of above ground infrastructure was recently commissioned however, and that was a 1.7 mile long conveyor system that will be used during the excavation of the tunnels heading eastwards towards Euston and west towards Green Park Way. I've already made a video about the North Alt tunnels that will run from Old Oak Common to West Riselip and a link to a playlist containing that video can be found in the description below. The conveyor system that will remove 1 million truck movements from West London roads will deposit the spoil at the HS2 Logistics Hub in Wilsdon. From there the spoil will be transported by train to various locations in the south of England where it will be used for land reclamation. The conveyor system will play a crucial part in the four separate tunnel drives that will be needed to excavate two sets of twin board tunnels that will connect Old Oak Common to Euston in the east and West Ryslip in the west. Adjacent to the Old Oak Common site is the site for the Victoria crossover box that is located just to the west of the station. This huge box will allow trains to switch tracks underground on the approach into Old Oak Common. The 130 metre long box is being constructed 24 metres below ground and will be the launching point for the two TBMs that will head west to Green Park Way to construct part of the North Alt tunnels that will eventually stretch all the way to West Ryslip. It is hoped that the new super hub will kickstart the regeneration of the surrounding Old Oak and Park Royal area with 25,000 new homes planned. Above the station box will be the new station building itself as well as a large public park and bus interchange facilities. In addition there are plans to provide better pedestrian access between Old Oak Common and North Acton Station on the central line. Transport for London did have ambitions for a new station on one of the London Overground lines that splits at Wilsdon Junction, which then passed to the west and east of Old Oak Common. However, due to TfL's ongoing funding issues since the pandemic, it appears as if any plans for a new station have been put on hold. Despite this though, Old Oak Common is still being marketed as the best connected and largest new railway station ever built in the UK, and will still undoubtedly have a positive impact on the area surrounding the station. So there we are, that's Old Oak Common, if you have any questions about the new station let me know in the comments below, and if you found this video informative please do hit that like button or consider subscribing, really would be appreciated, but I'm going to leave it there for today, so until next time, bye bye.